Namibia is a land of breathtaking horizons, exquisite natural wonders, a unique variety of wildlife and cultural diversity. With the protection of the environment enshrined into the constitution, today wildlife populations have been restored and local communities are able to generate sustainable income from natural resources. This is one country that holds the largest population of black rhino, um, if not in sub-Saharan Africa, across the world. It's the one place where you have um, elephants that are transboundary between five countries within the Kaza framework. It is the one country where you have a free roaming population of lions um, in moving in between protected areas and communal, life and communal land. Namibia's uh, protected areas are vital tools for conserving uh, uh, natural resources uh, in the country, uh, the biodiversity aspects of uh, this country. Today we're talking about uh, just over 44% of land uh, being under conservation. And this is important uh, for biodiversity conservation uh, and tourism development uh, in the country. These are valuable assets that we, we have as a country, uh, but that monitoring uh, just contributes to the conservation efforts that we have uh, in order for us to make uh, these protected areas sustainable, but also contributing to the economic development of, uh, of this, this country. And SMART practically help us, helps us to really uh, bring in the technological uh, aspects in terms of our adaptive management cycle. From uh, the management of wildlife, to the management of infrastructure, to the management of our staff complements uh, within our protected areas. These monitoring tools are able to help us to see where the different um, heads are moving uh, at the same time. Monitoring also enables us um, to really have a good grasp on um, uh, especially cross-boundary or transboundary species uh, that are moving in between uh, the riverines, um, you have mentioned the uh, Kaza and so on, where we have elephants that are really transboundary and we need to have uh, very, very clear knowledge uh, when we speak to um, our neighbours to know that, you know, uh, where our elephants are moving, where our rhinos are moving, where our lions are moving. So it's quite critical in that aspect. So we do conduct uh, transboundary patrols with our counterparts, uh, be it Botswana, um, Angola, uh, as well as Zambia. So during these uh, activities, we conduct on the border patrols. We visit communities within each of the countries and sensitize them on the uh, dangers of uh, indulging in wildlife crimes. There's a lot of countries globally that are using the system and it helps with the conservation because it also monitors some endangered species. You can see how the population of animals are growing. SMART has really helped us to, to collect data much easier. Um, Managers now can make better decisions based off the information that's actually gathered in the field. It has allowed better reports to be generated, mapping of, of information. But this information is how, can be housed centrally and that can help future managers to go back to this, because it's a digitized system, go back to this information and actually see what has happened before and also predict. Um, future plans. I will mention one incident where we had uh, a rhino uh, injured during poaching incident and I needed to have coordinate. Uh, after some times we need to record each uh, poaching incident or each cases death of rhino we need to have uh, those coordinate. But after I will say a year I went back to my uh, device or to my uh, tough book and I went to get that, uh, those coordinates I got them from the tough book after a year. As a Chief Warden for Human Wildlife Conflict in this ministry, we have um, also decided to implement SMART 
um, especially on the human wildlife conflict uh, aspect, so that we have our people on the ground investigating and collecting data using SMART, um, which immediately, you know, um, comes to us who are sitting in Vintook and do this processing. So the visual aspect of SMART is very excellent because the requirement for human wildlife conflict or the requirement for someone to get paid, for example, is that we need to see evidence. It makes my work so much easier because it takes me away from uh, sorting papers and, and, and going through a lot of forms. Um, everything uh, is so simplified uh, with SMART. I will not spend much of the time on writing or drafting a report. Because once you do, you do the patrols, when you come back, you download the data that you've collected from the patrols, and you do the debrief, you can see exactly where and the effort that you are putting on. Since 2016, the rollout of SMART in Namibia has been comprehensive and dynamic, spreading rapidly across this vast country with even more planned for the future. I think what we receive from uh, the ground is also impressive because it has made a difference for us to understand what is happening in the national parks uh, and therefore uh, it has made it easier for us to uh, make decisions and also guide because the more we receive this information also helps in guiding on what is happening in the protected areas. And therefore it's important as we move forward that we have the smart program or the smart tool that help us to uh, monitor the, uh, the conservation targets that we have because that in itself help us to determine uh, the, the, the impact that we, we, we are having. SMART is great. SMART has made everyone's life so much easier. It's user friendly. Even illiterate rangers can use it. Um, it allows managers to, at a click of a button, really be able to see what's happening in their protected area and help them then to make better decisions to manage the areas. SMART is digitally transforming Namibia's parks and wildlife management systems. With these successes seen using the SMART approach to conservation management, the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism is rolling out SMART in every national park in the country with a view to include all protected areas and conservancies. The SMART program has been collaborative and inclusive, transferring data into actionable knowledge. In Namibia, SMART is empowering people and protecting nature.